Hey guys, so today is going to be a quick tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. Um, I just filmed it right now, so this is what the outcome is. And I wanted to go ahead and show you. I get so many questions on my eyebrows, and really it's super simple. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the techniques and the tools that I use to pluck, trim, groom my eyebrows. Uh, eyebrows. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's just a really quick tutorial. If you have any additional questions, um, leave them in the comments down below. But I pretty much explain everything. So if you're interested in seeing how I groom my eyebrows, just keep watching. Okay, so as you guys can see, my eyebrows are not exactly even, and I specifically left them bushy just for you guys so I could show you guys how I actually groom them. But my eyebrows aren't even. Like, if you look at me dead on, I do have a scar right here, which a couple of you have noticed in some of my videos. Um, I do have that scar that I got as a child, and so it kind of, when you're looking at me dead on, it kind of offsets my face because it's not directly in the middle it kind of leans to my right so it makes my face look a little unsymmetrical <laughs> um but it's it I don't know it's been there for years it doesn't bother me but if you do look at me dead on my eyebrows are not exactly even in the middle I wasn't blessed with twin eyebrows unfortunately like this one I almost always have to brush it up and fill in this gap right here if you look super close I do have hair that grows there that makes them even, but if you look from far away, it's like a little bald spot, and you can't even tell that it's there. So I do fill in my right one a little bit more toward my, like, the inner part right here um, because they don't look even from afar. But if I chop off or I pluck some of this one, then it'll be too thin from over here because, as you can see, this one grows hair down here but for some reason I have like that bald spot right there that it does not grow I have no idea why so my eyebrows look a lot more sparse when I don't have them plucked and like groomed they look a lot more even and natural when I do have them groomed and completely trimmed and like everything they're looking haywire right now but I did this for you guys so that you could actually see how I do it so um if you can see like my hairs they're very like long and dark so the second they start growing in I really have to do something with them this is like probably three weeks worth of growth because normally I pluck or trim them at least once a week and I do get them groomed um, or threaded I'd say once every two to three months it can just be pretty costly and um, I just you know don't have the time and effort for all what that. I use for as far as tools I do use just uh, basic slanted tweezers. I got these from Sally Beauty. I actually think that these work really good at grabbing the hair. Um, I haven't used the tweezer man tweezers before so I really couldn't tell you but I really like the way that these work. And then this is all also by um, or this is by Sally Hansen. These are just trimmers and um, there's the brand there, Sally Hansen, but they're slanted trimmers, and I use this to trim the tops of the eyebrows here, and then I bought these two in a set, the trimmers and this little tool here, I bought it from Ulta, but this little tool, I originally bought it for the shaver, thinking that it was going to be a good tool to have, um, but I don't really care for it, I don't shave any part of my eyebrow, I just usually pluck it all off, and then it has this little comb you put this over it to protect the razor in this little brush here. So usually I use this comb. Just be careful that you're not like shaving off your eyebrows. But usually I use that comb to trim um, the edges here. And then of course for actual tools to fill them in. I use this right here. It's a double ended. It has um, a slanted or an angle brush on one side and a spoolie on the other. I got this from Walmart. It's actually falling apart. I need a new one. This is like the ferrule's really loose on this so it bothers me but this is a great tool to have. And for brow gel I'm using the e.l.f. wet gloss uh, lash and brow clear mascara and then I use um, Max cork eyeshadow which is a satin. It's just a like a kind of a matte brown color. Okay so I zoomed you guys in a little bit more so you can kind of see a bit closer up what these wild things look like so I just like I said normally what I do is I just brush everything up and I'll go in with my trimmers so I'll use this little tool right here I'll comb these up and trim then I do the same to the other side 
Okay, so that's about even. Then once I do that, I actually go in and start to pluck the hairs. And pretty much because I already have, I've had this natural brow line for a while now. I just kind of follow that. So this is going to be hard to do on camera. Go in and pluck all the major hairs where it looks like I definitely am not supposed to have hair. Like my eyebrows aren't going to grow right down here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and just finish plucking all the excess hairs and then I'll come back and show you guys how I do the tops and the sides. Then you guys can see here on my tail end, the hairs just kind of grow haywire. So what I do is I follow my natural arch. So like if I'm going to go, if I'm going to start here my natural arch and go down, I just pluck everything down. I'm not sure why that they grow in such a weird way but I just like I said follow my arch and then go straight down and anything in that path I pluck so that kind of makes it look a little bit more natural okay so pretty much this one is done as far as like plucking except on the top so pretty much what I do on the top is same thing I just kind of go and anything that looks a little unnatural like I follow my hairline and anything that looks like it doesn't belong there I pluck so like you see the that hair right there it doesn't it doesn't really belong with the rest of my hair now I like to actually keep some of these little baby hairs because it makes my eyebrows look a little bit fuller um, even though I don't have super thin eyebrows they're not super thick either so um, yeah I just pluck anything that's not supposed to be there and I really can't see in this viewfinder but um, you guys get the gist of it so that's pretty much how I do it and like I said you could see here the little bald spot so when I go to fill it in what I do is I just take I just take my brow powder with the angled side dab it in there a little bit and um, I start in the middle here and just do light strokes And then what I do for the center here is I take a little bit on the brush, just a tiny bit, and I kind of just do sideways strokes. So that way it's not too obvious, but it does have a little bit of color there so that from afar the brow doesn't look like it's too sparse. So you can see there that just looks really like put together and nice. So then what I'll do is I'll take my spoolie and brush it. And I always brush up toward my arch and then down. That makes the eyebrow look like it has a little bit more shape and dimension, I guess, to it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my clear brow gel and I'm just going to um, take a little bit of that. And then with brow gel, what I always do is I kind of go back in and tap just to make sure that everything is going to stay in place. And then there's groomed brows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a weird angle and stuff, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed um, seeing me groom my brows, and I hope it gave you some tips and tricks for your brows. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!